Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. This is a video between the videos. So this is just um, a subscriber asked about a strap suggestion for one of my bags. So you're going to see some bags, some straps, and you're going to see my coin purse collection. I'm missing one. I already looked everywhere. I'm like, oh, I can't find it. Like everything. i like, I just saw that. Where did I put it? I don't remember. So, um, let's do the bags first. So, the person who watched my video showing this bag wanted to know about what strap I would pair it with. Now, I want to show you. I have... <laughs> I see you're carrying a Mr. Watson. Uh, so Mr. Watson's making his uh, date. Look, look at that. Hi, Mr. Watson. <laughs> Anyhow, so I have three bags of the exact same color. If I could have bought more, I would have. There were more. James told me, uh, no more. No more. You have, you have them. You have enough. I was like, fine. So this is the camera bag that was the European exclusive color. Or only were launched in Europe. This is the Field Tote 22, and this is an aftermarket, not an aftermarket, this is a, from a different bag, a whole different colorway. Um, and this is the Tyler or Taylor Carryall, the small version. And so these have black, the black hardware, and they all had different straps. And I can't remember, I think this pink strap came with this bag. I don't remember. Uh, or it came with the camera bag. I don't remember because they're they're all the same colorway. So, but she said she didn't like the strap that came with this. So I used, um, so this strap, this thin leather strap came with this bag. That I know for sure. But this bag came with two different straps. It came with, now I'm not sure if it was, Yes, it was this one. Okay, it came with this strap. Um, or that came with this strap and this one came with that strap. I don't remember. Um, so, because I swapped things out, I have a feeling... I don't know. So, basically, I'm not sure if you bought this one, it came with this dark blue strap, or if it came with that pink and blue strap. Because one of those came with this bag, and one of them came with that bag. They are both have the same leather color, so I don't remember anymore. But, I don't actually, and this came with a leather strap with it too, which, I don't know why Milo's barking. Milo, why are you barking? Huh, now he's not barking. So, in here I have two, because one of this goes with the camera bag, so that camera bag had two straps. It had a guitar strap and a leather strap. So, I actually really like these straps with this bag. Um, because I like the look of the leather more than the guitar strap. Also, the guitar strap doesn't quite fit with me, but this is what I do. Now, I realize this is mixed metals. It doesn't bother me. Um, this is an aftermarket um, strap, and I like it because it has that hound's tooth. And I probably won't pair it with this. It's a little too aqua. Um, see how it goes a little bit more gray? I think that's really pretty together. And the other one I would, so if I was looking for a strap to pair with this, I'd go with the blue grays, like this. This is a beautiful strap and I really like this. And yes, it has gold hardware, but you know, honestly, I'm fine with that. And actually I would have to probably use an extender with this belt or with this um, strap. So that's what I would do with these bags. I like patterns. I normally don't wear patterns, too many patterns in my clothes, so I can put a little bit more patterns in my straps. But if you don't like, um, you could also use just a plain. I wouldn't really use a black strap. I thought about it, and I'll show you why. Um, because the black, I'd go with a gray strap for sure to bring out the gray tones. Because um, it's just so stark and... Stark, you know, I don't like it. So for me, that's how I would use this bag. Now, the other problem I have is I have this tote. So these are my last, last two. No, I have three field totes, but these are, are three field tote twenty twos. But these are the two I'm showing. I bought these at the same time, and this one also has 
the strap. So on this bag, this strap makes so much sense. On that bag, I'm not sure why they would send that, I mean, do that. This is black, so it definitely goes with this bag because it has the black here. And let me see, where did that one go? It went over in the camera bag. Um, see, and this one has this color with this. It is a little thinner. So I, I have to say, I think this one probably went with this bag and that one probably went with that bag because it would make sense that the gauge, the width of this strap would fit with this bag more than this little tiny camera bag. It drives me nuts. I have a spot on this bag. I have no idea how that got there. I need a final wipe. Um, I've, I've used this bag twice, you know. Um, anyhow, so this is my quick little how to dress up your bag video i'll add it to bag mountain over here um and i wanted to show you my coin purse collection and i'm missing one which is frustrating because i just got it um says what gave it to me um when we did a when i bought some stuff from her and she gave me some things so she gave me a coin purse and you know what i bet james went outside this is why they're barking they're like, excuse me, where did you put dad? So my glasses, my sunglasses, my bag of things. Actually, I think what I'm looking for is in this. Yeah. So these are power cords. And um, this is a little coin purse, but I don't use coins in this. This is actually just sugar and plackets, um, dental floss. And, and then in here, the, this is the actual coin purse I use. Now you can see that it's kind of buried within bags, within bags. So that shows you how often I don't use coins but I always have coins um, so this is a vintage Louis Vuitton coin case so it goes like this and then when you open it when you want your coins to come out to pick a coin you just lean it forward and then you just kind of sort through your coins you tip it back and um, here's the thing Europe still uses coins a lot and when I bought these um, I, the best coin pouches I've ever found actually are from Italy. They're, the Italians use these really cool kind of, I've, the one I, and I don't have one, I wish I did, kind of accordions in and out, um, like, and it's just leather, it's a little, little leather pouch, and it's so cool, but this is the one I use, I like it because it's compact, um, it still fits quite a lot of coins, you know. So when I was going to Europe, we still had a lot of coin currency everywhere you went. But here in America, we don't use that. I don't use that many coins. I have them because when it, you need them, I, I want them. And um, we had coin shortage for a minute, so I just kind of like, well, I have these coins, I might as well use them. And and this is how I use that, particularly right now. Okay, but let me explain. Okay, so I'll show you the 16-year-old coin case. No. This was bought in the mid-90s. I've had this since the mid-90s. I bought this. This has been well-loved, well-used. I bought this in Italy. Um, I used it. My sister used it. I got this. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but this thing has been through the ringer and then back, and I still have it, and I still love it. And it's lasted and done really well for being over, this is over 20 years old. So, so then the next one, this one is 16 years old. Um, I got this in 2007. Now, because this is, this is not real leather, this is what happened to the synthetic um, material that they used but you can see the sub material the this is actually the cording that they had this whatever this material was around it this is a Tinkerbell um, Disney Resort item I bought in Disneyland Paris and it's ooh, the inside it is it is seriously I mean in all honestly it should just be thrown out but it's sentimental I got it when I was in Paris when we got married so you know I have it um, so a little bit newer than that. Well, actually not quite as new. I don't remember when I bought this. It still has coins in it. This is a double coin purse and, oh, this is my old doctor's offices. I put, apparently I put a bunch of cards in here. Um, so this has two sides. Vera Bradley makes some of the best coin bat little pouches. I've had this one. I can't 
I don't even know. This is a navy blue microfiber. Um, I've used this. I've used this. I mean, there's still coins in it. Let's just randomly look at a date. This is 1995, which doesn't mean much. I mean, coins can be from any time period. So this one, this one, this one, you see a similar theme here. Um, so this is my newer one. My friend bought me this because I love hippos. There's that one. And they're all relatively the same size. But I also have other types of coin purses, which are like this one. Um, and I use cards and coins in this. Cards and coins in this. I put a lot of coins in this. It holds a lot of things. But then, you know, more traditional coin purse. This is legitimately sold as a coin purse. This is the most useless coin purse I have ever owned in my life and I love it and it's useless it is it does not good for lipstick it's not really that convenient for coins um, because there's no way for this to attach to your purse so it's kind of just lost in your purse I think what this is really honestly good for is if you carry makeup but you don't carry a lot of makeup and let me see if I'm looking for one here it is here is a just a powder right? That. This is what it's good for. That's really all it's good for is to throw a powder in there so that if something happens and your powder explodes, it explodes in here, you know, instead of in here. But most people, if you are carrying makeup, you're carrying more than just a powder, but you're not going to market this as a powder holder. You know, that's ridiculous. So, and this is also a, a cosmetic bag that I use, I actually use to hold cosmetics. Um, but I've also used that to carry um, coins and depends on how big my bag is or cash and coins. This is also this is sold as a coin purse literally literally sold as a coin purse. I put lipstick in it because I think it's kind of perfect for lipstick but it has the um, attachment so you can put coins. This would be useful as a coin purse because you could dig in there and grab your stuff but again the problem is um, when you're in a rush and you're at the register and you're trying to get cash out I tend to purses like this dump out my coins um which can also be a mess and a nightmare so that's why even though i have all these coin purses um the one i use which i think i just put back already is the one from lv and it's probably the even older than the ones that are 20 and 30 years old because when was the last time you saw lv make this i don't remember um and it was just an epi leather leather inside it is it has survived really well. It has um, a black kind of like fabric liner on this side and the rest of it is leather. There's a wire frame that you can't really see. There's a metal wire frame right there to give it some strength and structure. And when I carried this more, when I had more cash base, I put, I tucked cash in the front pocket. You know, and then I close this and then I use this and I still use this because I like it because it's really compact. I like the way it opens. I like the way the coins slide out. So this is my, for me, after all my years of buying coin purses, this is my favorite one. This is, the, this is it. This is the one I'm using. Um, or something like this, which I use for coin purse, coins before. I also have one, let me see if I have it here that says what gave me that I actually am using for coins also. Um, but I don't like leaving change loose. I don't have a collection jar. I just kind of put um, things in things. I love putting things in bags, you know. It's like a bag and a bag and a bag. It's it's my sister jokes, a box within a box. I'm like, yes, leave me alone. It's like, yes, it's a box in a box. Now I don't know where I put that. I just saw it. Again, story of my life. Jackie, where did you put that? I don't know because I put it in a bag within a bag, you know. And then he was like, then why do you do that? Because I can't help myself. I'm just a squirrel. I like to put things away. This is another coin purse, but this is more of a purse purse um, than the just a coin purse. And I have weird jewelry, odds and ends, things for um, my watch bands. So, oh, here's another coin purse back here. So this is one I ordered. Sorry, I'm getting all so really close up into the camera. Um, I ordered, but I don't like it because I don't like the quality. 
I ordered a specific pattern of, of the print and it didn't, she did, she made them to order and there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, it still has her stuff in there, um, who made this and I like it. It's just, again, I've learned, I do not like brown coin purses. That's why you will never see me with one of those cute little Louie ones because I don't know what y'all are using them for, but, um, for me, it's not for coins. This is more lipstick because I have a lipstick problem and there's wallets. I have all my wallets and my little pouches right in front of me. One of these days I'll have to give you a tour of what this messy desk looks like. That used to be very nice and neat and clean because it used to be my husband's and he likes nice, neat, clean desks and I have, um, <laughs> my desks look like a mess. Even at the office they look like a mess. So anyhow. Um, thank you for watching my chatty video. I cannot find that. Point. You know what? As soon as I turn this off, I'm going to find it. It's going to be right here in front of me. I'll be like, it was there the whole time. Like, yeah, because that's probably where I left it. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see. Just had to move. It's so tiny. This is a coin purse from Portland Leather Goods. I like this one a lot, too, because it's small. And you can open this pretty wide. And your coins just are right there right there. So if I wasn't using the LV one every day, this would be my everyday one for sure. I think they sell these for cards, but um, this is a business card and they, and he doesn't work there anymore. But so it, it barely, you have to, it crinkles. See, and that's just a standard business card. So I don't think you could really use this as a card wallet. This really is meant, I think, for coins. And for coins, it's perfect. And I like this. I like this one a lot. Thank you, says what. So anyhow, I wanted to say, um, for the two people who really wanted this video, I'm releasing it today. Um, so everybody gets to watch two videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.